we've lost our aunt, our brother, and my daughter to suicide. We don't want anybody to go through what we go through. Stacy Coftry was one of more than 100 walkers at Columbus's Walk Out of the Darkness this weekend. The money that we raise is used for education and for support, also for advocacy, so they speak with people in, in Congress and in the legislature about suicide awareness. They also speak with producers and directors in Hollywood about how to address suicide in, in the movies. And it uh, won't be long, we'll have a new three-digit emergency number you can call. Cynthia Makovica helped organize the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention Walk three years ago after her student and her nephew committed suicide around the same time. It is a mental illness and it's okay to not be okay. You know, we all have some sort of mental illness of some point. Organizers say today isn't just about prevention, but postvention. That's why they're adding resources to the community to help families who've dealt with loss. So we have many um, areas of postvention in, and prevention in Columbus. So we have a loss team, and a loss team is a local outreach of suicide survivors. And what they will do is, when there has been a suicide, we can go visit with the family. Doug Schindel died by suicide in January. His son Nick says having lost someone to suicide, being open about the pain and leaning on others with things like Saturday's walk is crucial. Be open about it is, is more helpful than trying to, trying to hide it. Organizers hope that through this event and similar organizations, Columbus can encourage people to open their hearts and minds. There's help now that there wasn't nine years ago. In Columbus, don't ever be afraid to say, I need help because every day I miss my nephew and everybody needs to know that it's okay. Carolyn Conti, News Channel, Nebraska.